So phase one of curriculum renewal has really been this exploratory creative phase where we started by bringing lots of people together from our community, our students, our faculty, our staff, patients and others who you know work very closely both with healthcare delivery and medical education to really think about that core question of what should be the key distinguishing factors of graduates from the Zucker School of Medicine who need to be prepared to work as physicians in the years 2035 and beyond. And so how we approached trying to answer that was really to cast a very wide net. We had a retreat, we've had speaker series, we received feedback after each of our speaker series and have a lot of information that we put together through both our fall and spring retreats that we had. We had curious questioning teams that worked for six, seven months exploring some of these important questions, researching answers to them, and then synthesizing them and pulling all of that back together. Uh, following that, we did a number of different deep dives into some areas that came up through some of this research and through this exploration. Uh, and now we're really kind of synthesizing, pulling it all together, and beginning to think about um, how we actually want to define and measure some of those outcomes of the graduates for the future to be prepared for that role, and um, how we might want to design a curriculum that will help to meet that. We most importantly had to identify what would be our goal and objectives for the refreshed curriculum, which we've now actually put together and are going to be sharing uh, broadly with our community and getting feedback and ideas from everyone insofar as how we can then take that goal and those objectives and actualize them in the curriculum. Everyone is going to receive a survey in which we really need to get your ideas. We're going to be asking you for your ideas about how we can take the different objectives for the refreshed curriculum and bring them to life, turn them into action, turn them into whatever our refreshed curriculum uh, really will embody. And don't worry if you know you could answer one but not the other, that's completely fine. We just really want to get people's thoughts and suggestions for either untapped opportunities, resources, people, places within Northwell, in Hofstra, in our surrounding communities that we could think about utilizing as part of our curricular experiences to bring those objectives to life. So once we receive all the feedback from the survey, we're going to put it together and synthesize it. Really the feedback will be all the ideas for how we can actualize and implement um, these objectives in the new curriculum. So we have some other materials that we've already collected throughout this renewal process. We have the request for proposals that came through. We have feedback from the speaker series, from the various retreats and deep dives that we've had. So we're gonna synthesize all of that together consider it in the context of now the goal and objectives for the refreshed curriculum and put it together into a proposed macro structure or visual uh, representation of what this refreshed curriculum will look like. And we anticipate having that ready to go this spring. So probably the most important thing of all of this is to really say thank you. A huge, tremendous thank you for all of the effort and all of the time and energy that people have put into this. I know we have been working on renewal for quite a long time now, uh, and really the light at the end of the tunnel is becoming clear. And I hope that people will feel excited as we move into the spring. We will be having you know, our refreshed curriculum ready to be looked at and commented upon. Um, and so I think it's a truly exciting time and we could not have done this without everyone's efforts. So really just thank you.